What's up, guys? My name is DJ Johnny Aftershock, and yes, I am a mobile DJ. And I use a MIDI controller. I use and love my American Audio VMS 4.1. I rock it with Virtual DJ Pro 7.3. I use it for video mixing. Karaoke. And of course, B3s. I scored on these two awesome turntables from Craigslist. Hit them with some Plasti Dip, got them all clean and nice and looking fresh. Now I need to find myself a mixer. And this was not going to cut it anymore. Why? Because it's not MIDI mappable. So I headed down to my local gear shop. Of course, I wanted to do some price shopping with mixers. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe not. How about this one? Oh, hell no. Mm, this is brand new. I like it. Serato, MIDI mappable. Knobs, functions. Cool. Oh, not so cool. Maybe this one. Oh, hold on. Uh, uh, it's not even Serato compliant. And at that price, hell no. You see, I'm not trying to bake the bank. I just want a good MIDI mixer. This is the one I want, but it costs this. And I didn't have much of this. So I waited. I waited, and eventually I got hired on at American DJ. My boy Leo from American Audio told me they were coming up with three really cool MIDI mixers. Yep, we're coming out with three pretty cool MIDI mixers. The 10MXR, the 14MXR, and the 19MXR. So I ordered one. Leo also mentioned it's a mixer that thinks like a controller. I picked one up just before I headed home that night. I went and chose the 10MXR. It's compact, two channel, perfect for what I need. I don't have a lot of space in my studio, so I gotta keep it small. Loaded it up into the car, and ready to take it home to my studio to give it a test run. I chose the Compact 10 MXR. You see, I needed a MIDI mixer because I had my eye on Serato for a while, but it didn't have the features I needed as a mobile DJ, which was the aforementioned karaoke and video capabilities. But Serato finally made a cool video plugin, and this was the perfect mixer to try it out with. The 10 MXR is a great budget friendly MIDI mixer out the box, but this video is focusing on what you can do with this mixer beyond, beyond the, box. the box. The 10 MXR is an amazing mixer out the box. If you want to use this mixer as a standalone over the turntables or CD decks, check out these guys' reviews on YouTube. DJ Richie Rich. Digital DJ Tips, Brian S. Red, our very own DJ Atronic, Arnaldo Offerman, and DJ Rude. They'll show you how to use it right out the box. My goal with this video is to show you how to make this mixer replicate a high-end $1,500 MIDI mixer and save you a boatload of money in the process. So let's get started. First things first, there's no way around it. You're gonna need a SL1 box or some type of Serato box. Then follow the manual. We're going through the line out of the mixer to the line in on the Serato box. Hook up your power cord, your RCAs to channel two, your RCAs to channel one on the back of the MXR. Just remember we're going line in in the back of the Serato box. Next we're hooking up our turntables to line two and we're hooking up one XLL cord to the back of the MXR going to our powered speaker. Our USB cord goes to the back of the MXR. Turn on the mixer. Next, get your Mac set up. Next, USB to Serato. And those two USB cords go into your Mac. And now I'm gonna show you how to MIDI map the 10 MXR to your Serato software. Serato Scratch Live is now open. You hit this MIDI button there. You just move your mouse pad over anything. You see it's gonna be gray, gray, gray. So let's go ahead and assign some uh, some cue points. You're gonna hit that one right there. Hit it again. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, the button on the uh, 
MXR, it's green. Okay, now I'm gonna go to two. Q button two, done. Let's head on over to the other side. Click it again. One, done. Go there, mouse over, click it, click the number two. Done. Okay, so let's say for instance you want to go ahead and map in that navigational control in the middle. You're going to go down to show MIDI panel. You're going to scroll over it right here and you're just going to move that button, that control knob in the middle. Okay. Okay guys, so we've already done this middle part right here. Let's hit this tab focus, which is going to basically help you get over from your library area from your song area. So tab focus, I'm going to hit this one right here. Okay, we're good. Uh, go into loading a deck. So we're going to scroll over that. You're going to hit your load. Okay, done. That's the left side. Now we're going to load to the right side. Done. Now that we're um, in the effects, well, I guess one of the, my favorite effects is this echo effect. So I'm going to go ahead and just want to MIDI map it. MIDI. Hit that. I'm going to have to use the LPF, HPF button. There we go. Done. And now to trigger the on off effect, I'm just going to scroll over it, click it, and assign it to the sync button. Done. So now I can trigger off the effect, on, off, and then give it a cool parameter. Okay? Okay guys, now when you're all done setting up your 10 MXR and you're done MIDI mapping everything out, you can go over to Setup, MIDI, and you're going to want to save this. Save. You go 10 MXR Serato. Mr. Serato. Here we are. Okay guys, so this is the last final part of this video. You've got everything MIDI map from the 10MXR to your Serato software using your Techniques 1200, CD deck, what have you. Only thing left to do is to drop a delicious piece of time-coded vinyl onto your turntable, load up a song from your 10MXR, into Serato, I'm hitting the low B button because that's what we mapped. Song is loaded, drop the needle on the record, let's make some magic happen. Don't forget, we have cue points on this, guys. Also, you still have a wet dry filter built in to the 10 MXR. Check it out. Just push this button down. Go from very wet to very dry. A little bit of flanger, some reverse, Thank you.